Well, I'm with Emily Hoyle, who had a lung transplant uh, because of cystic fibrosis. You guys only got back on Sunday from Ecuador. You achieved, you got to 5,790 metres. That's absolutely a stunning achievement. How did it feel? Um, well, I think everyone surpassed their expectations. Um, it was an amazing experience. I think every one of us loved it. It was, we weren't sure how we were going to all react. So it was quite an experiment as well as an experience. Well, you've certainly raised awareness. Now, life like that wasn't always like that for you, was it, with cystic fibrosis? How bad did it get before uh, the transplant? So I was in hospital for over a year, and I had nights where I was told I wouldn't make it through the night, and my family had to come and say goodbye to me, which was quite traumatic when they're gripping your hands and begging you not to leave them. It, um, it was very difficult. I was on a ventilator for the last three months before my transplant, and I was, yeah, I was very lucky to still be alive. Fantastic. So what would your message be to our viewers today? Uh, we want people to join the register. Just how important is it? Well, at the moment, organs are being wasted. People who would donate aren't giving their lungs. So I think lives can be saved. And what greater legacy can you leave after death than to save someone else's life? Absolutely agree with you. And of course, we need families to consent as well. So people who would be willing to, to donate, we need to have that conversation with their families so that, that there's a, a higher percentage of families willing to say yes when the time comes. But you guys have achieved uh, fantastic uh, things. Well done. Uh, you've certainly raised awareness and uh, opened my eyes to what is possible thanks to surgeons like Andre Stein. Yeah, Hilary, thanks so much. Well, one boy who desperately 